As I recall, the months leading up to when this all began weren't much to remember. It all happened so fast. I told you, man, they're zombies. Yeah, some of them are smart. Gotta be careful about that. I didn't fear death or what might be on the other side if today was my last day. But it's dead! That was then. It's over! And this is now. Something lived. It's in the wall! There's gotta be something about the infected that we've been missing. Those two were close to me. They were family. Match! I'm gonna burn the fucking building down! Told you I was gonna bury you. You think the families are gone? The gold, it's real. Now the Falcon stand it. They think infected are the next stage of us. Those things will always be out there. We are strong together. Stay alert, stay alive. Hello, my name is Casey Whalen. I'm the writer, director, producer, and creator of We're Alive. It's an audio drama series that's been going on since 2009. We're Alive is a serial radio drama. And we have a Kickstarter campaign to bring you. Stand by for recording. So We're Alive began way back when, when I was going to college. Then I joined the military, went to Iraq, and a lot of the things that you actually see that happen in the story kind of are inspired by some of the things I may have seen overseas. The Marines are mopping up the mess made by the army. So when I came up with this idea back in 2009, I wanted to create the first survival zombie show for television. And I didn't have the resources to do it. And so I thought, oh, hey, why don't I make it as an audio drama first? But there are limitless possibilities in the audio world. The original series was four seasons. We actually call it the story of survival. But there was still more to tell after that. There is Lockdown, there's Gold Rush, there's also Scout's Honor, which we'll talk about that in a minute. Where Alive Descendants is a continuation of the original series and also all the individual stories that we've been telling on the side for many years. That was why. Uh, it's all been building up to this. These are the kids of the survivors. They want us to go back in there? Are you insane? Not only that, but they're also the next generation of infected. Why don't you just let out all the infected? You know, make them all pay. The first season of Descendants, which we've already created, is sort of the start of that journey. There is no way. And seasons two and three get to explore even more of that world. You did everything you could in that arena. We're going to finally get into some of the deep pieces of the lore of the world that we've been dying to tell you about. Yeah. And this is the last full series, multiple seasons, that will ultimately take us to the final conclusion that is We're Alive. We're doing a Kickstarter to fund these last two seasons, because frankly, we need money. When we first started out doing We're Alive back in 2009, we really didn't pay the actors a lot. We kind of just gave them pizza and some travel stipends. And a lot of commitment has gone to the show through the volunteer hours of those who've been committed to you know, this amazing story. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've pulled in a neighbor or my sister was one of the people who did uh, No Place I'd Rather Be. Yeah, honey, please, I spent my last time on a degree in humanities. And even now I've gotten my son involved with, you know, making some of this audio. Oh no, the bus! Oh no, the bus! Stop! Stop! To produce something like this is not as easy as maybe some people think. We have to write incredibly long scripts directly tailored for audio. We have all these actors come from all over the place and we are very proud of how we're able to get everyone within the same space to be able to interact. How the hell is that possible? Because if you don't believe what's happening in the scene, then it all falls apart. And then from there, we have to take all the performances, make sure that we are choosing the right takes, make sure that the pacing is there, that all the aspects of what is being said is clear. And then we go through the even longer part of production, which is to accompany those voices with sound effects. So you can see the sound. We want to make sure that everything that you're hearing sounds as authentic as possible. Our editors are bar none some of the best in the world. Gino Jang and Victoria Chang, Jaina Nishioka, Michael Keane. We also do custom scores and music. Our composer, Robert Mai, Danny Burkhoff Hopkins, it's a very high quality show, and it's high quality because we care about all the little details. The people who work on this, they're putting their hands literally in the muck sometimes to bring you this story. Many people have to work tirelessly to make sure it's perfect every single week. And this Kickstarter campaign not only helps us bring the audio to life, but also in a way that we can pay them for their time and effort. 
We also want to be able to bring in the caliber of talent that we want for these additional characters. We want to be able to do things with sound that take a lot of time to do. Um, I've run out of tracks. I've never had this happen before. Once we hit our goal for part of the Kickstarter campaign, we're going to start the release of Scout's Honor during the Kickstarter campaign. Scout's Honor is our last standalone story. It involves a group of scouts on the island of Catalina, and the outbreak happens and they have to work together to get off the island. It's sort of the coming of age story of Lord of the Flies meets the Where Life world. All right, here you go. And it's really a lot of fun. It's an amazing adventure, probably one of the greatest things we've ever made, and I'm so excited to bring it to you. Scorpion, scorpion, sting, sting. One of the reasons why I continue to want to bring this caliber of editing and production is essentially for the fans, for you, for the listeners who have been with us through all these years. Our little family. And honestly, it's one of the things that keeps me going. I really enjoy our fan base because they're amazing people who love entertainment. They love following good stories. I love the interactions, the, the theories, the camaraderie that they build. We've had fans who's gotten married, had children. There have been many, many great moments involving fans over the years. I mean, I, we've had so many different public live events where the fans have come out, some of them from all over the world. And with these Kickstarter stretch goals, we can do some special live events, maybe some online games, maybe bring something that's got a little song and dance to it. I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities that we could do. All you got to do is hit that button over there. Or maybe it's there. I don't really know where I am right now. I could be on your phone. You can have your name on a supporting wall. There will be digital art packs and wallpaper, digital scripts, physical scripts with signatures, musical soundtracks, ad-free downloads of Scout's Honor. There'll be personalized messages. There'll be Zoom sessions where we can chat. There will be audio dedications at the beginning of an episode. And there also are even executive producer credits. We also have some exclusive add-ons like t-shirts and dice and playing cards. We had a fingernail tier, but... um. We didn't think it was going to be very popular. Even if you're not able to back us on Kickstarter, just sharing the word about the show, sharing your love of the series with other people, because once we are able to make this, it's going to be able to live on forever, and you get to be a part of that. To a wonderful experience, a wonderful set of people, and what a time in life, right? Yeah. We've been very fortunate with We're Alive being able to achieve some awards and, and get some accolades and recognition like being up for an audio award or recognized by the BBC or in the Audio Fiction World Cup. We're, we're approaching 300 million downloads, which is unfathomable to see how much this has been accepted and listened to over the years. But we've had a lot of really great support from outside partnerships. Rusty Quill helps handle a lot of our advertisements and is also helping us bring this Kickstarter to life and making sure we can create the ultimate series conclusion that we want to. We're going to need your help. But your support, your spreading of the words, and the infection of this audio entertainment to other people has really helped us keep going. There's been good times and hard times and many, many obstacles I personally have had to overcome to be able to continue to do this. For those of you who have been with us since the very beginning, I have to give you a very hearty thank you. And um, I want you to be with us to the end. There's no coming back from this, I promise you. So that's our Kickstarter campaign. Thank you so much for those of you who are able to back us financially in this crazy endeavor that will bring about the end of We're Alive. I know it's sad to say, but the reality is with this campaign, we're finally going to be able to complete the story that we started 15 years ago. Thank you, everybody. I'm very grateful for all the support you've been able to give us over the years. And I'm excited to finally be able to finish this journey with you. Stay alert, stay alive, everyone. We'll see you next time.